Um, hello, uh, welcome to IP Network Address Lesson One. Um, in this tutorial, I'm going to describe the the, um, the three type of network address and how to identify them: their capacity, the the node capacity, the node address capacity, and how to add, how to identify the network path and the node path. Now let's start. Now there are different type of uh, network address. There's class A, B, C, D, and E. But what is what is the most important? In this uh, in this course is what of class A, class B, and class C because we are going to use these three uh, addresses in my next tutorial. That is when I'm going to do IP subnetting. Now, in class A network address, the first bit is always off, right? So now here is it, the first bit is off, and another bit is off here. Now, but it ranges from zero to one twenty seven. Why? Because if I change this to um, to decimal. This is zero. Why this one to decimal is one twenty seven? The both of them are in binary, right? Now, the four this is always off. Why the other seven bits can take any value from zero? Is that zero one one zero 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 and so on and so forth? But it's always ranges from zero to one twenty seven. So that means if you see any uh, address that starts from zero, one two three four up to one twenty seven, that kind of address is a mess. It's a class in network address. Now. The format of a net, uh, class in network address is network.node.node.node. So, with, in which each bit makes 32, uh, 32 bits, making 32 bits. So, that means this one is 8, the first one is 8, second one is 8, third one is 8, fourth one is 8. So, 8 and so is 32, right? So, which is equivalent to what? 4 bytes. Now, from this, since I have 1 bit, since I have 7 bits to manipulate, it, that means I'm having 2 is per 7. That is 2 is per 7. Uh, unique combinations of what of uh, network addresses now because there are two reserve address which is what the first one is the, the um, default route we call this one default route while the second one is a um, loopback address for, for testing the IP stack of a host so subtracting these two from this address I'm having 126 network addresses left now the host address is 3 byte from here you can see that it's 3 byte 1 2 3 right so now since the order address is three bytes, that means each is making what eight bits, right? So I'm having three is three times eight, which is twenty-four. So that means two is power twenty-four unique combinations of class A network address. Now from here, because of the reserve patterns of zeros and one, subtracting two from two is power twenty-four gives me what sixteen million seven hundred seventy seven thousand two hundred fourteen instead of two hundred sixteen because we subtracted two now making 214 node addresses now looking at this class a address you can see that what it has a wider range of what node addresses but a smaller range of what network address now an example of a class a network i told you that what it ranges from 0 to 127 so that means that what by from 10 now looking at it 10 is what is the network part 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, Using this as an example, for in a 10.0.0.0 network, the number of uh, node address that can assign to host is 10.0.01, 10.0.02, and so on and so forth to 10.255.255.255.254. Now, why all these are going to have what this broadcast address 10.255.255.255? So that is for was a um, class A network address. Now, for a class B network address, they said the first bit must always be on and the second bit should be off. So, from here, in this with this binary, changing this one to decimal, I have 128. The first, the class A network address, can you remember, it start from 0 to 127. Now, I mean, it start from 0 to 127, yeah. So, now, from 127, so this one start from 128, okay? Now, from 128, uh to 191 changing this one to 191 i can have that what i have a class b network address so i can say 172 is a class b network address as everybody you start from what numbers that ranges from 128 to 121 so for the format network network that is the first um 16 bit is what is the network address network part so why the next system is the node part so which each of them is what eight bits so that means since i'm having since they said that what the first two is fixed first one was the on second one was the off 
first one on the on, second one on the off. Now, making how many mini? I'm having six to manipulate, right? So because I'm having two uh, network parts of a of an IP address, that means that what? I'm having eight plus eight, sixteen. Now sixteen minus this two, making fourteen. So I have two is for fourteen net network address left to manipulate. Now, should that means with class B network address is having bigger network address than class A network uh, class A network address. I guess me now. But it has a smaller uh, node address compared to class A. So now OSB has two bytes long, right? Old address is at two bytes long. So then two times eight is what? Sixteen. So I'm having two is per sixteen. You need combinations of class A network address. Now because of the result patterns of zeros and one, so sorry, because of the result patterns of zeros and one, which means two is per sixteen minus two. I'm having sixty five thousand five hundred thirty four instead of five hundred thirty six. Subtracting the two, so that means the uh, the number of uh, addresses I can uh, assign out in the class B network address is sixty five thousand five hundred thirty four. That's huge. That's really 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 huge. Now, an example of a class B network address is one seventy two point sixteen point zero point one to one seventy two point sixteen point two five five point two five four. Note one seventy two point sixteen is what network part, right? 0.1 is the node part. 255.254 is the node part, right? So now, when, why each of these addresses is going to have what? A broadcast address of 172.16.255.255. It's end to 254. Why the broadcast address was 255? Now, for a class C network address. So in a class C network address, it says the first two bits must always be on. So if the first bit two bits must always be on, then the third bit is what is off. So if the third bit is off, then that means that what? How many how many uh, positions remain? I'm having one, two, three, four, five. Just this five. For me to change. So that means that what? If I change this to uh, decimal, I'm having one ninety two. If I change this to decimal, I'm having two twenty three. So that means class C network address starts from one ninety two to two twenty three. So if you see uh, a network address that starts from one ninety four um, to two hundred. Is a classic network address now for the format of a classic network address? Look here, the format is network, network, network. So that means the first three bytes is the network part, while the last byte is what is it or is the node part. So that means, um, I'm, I'm how many network address I'm, I'm having now because I'm having TB times eight here, it is 24 minus this TB making 21 so i'm having two is about 21 network address it has a bigger range of network address compared to class a and class b so but the, the but the host address is, is smaller compared to class a and b as well so now because of the exact patterns of zeros and one now look here i'm having eight bits here so i'm having two is by eight two is three is at three is two is fifty six unique combinations of class a network address now because of the exact patterns of zeros and one subtracting so these two from two is by eight I'm having what three hundred fifty-four possible node address to to to, uh, to allocate. So for each um, class C network address, I'm having two is per fifty-four node addresses. So then I'm having and from here, look at this example now. I'm having one nine two point one six eight point eighty. The first TB is what is the network part, right? While the last is the node part. So from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, up to two hundred fifty-four. Is what they are node addresses okay so that means 192.168.80.1 is for one one with 192.168.80.1 and 254 for another host up to 254. now why each and every um address we allocate we are going to give this broadcast mass i mean go start, sorry broadcast address rather so that's the difference between class a class b and class c now private sorry private network address now for the private network address, a class A has 10.0.0.0 and it has uh, um, till 10.255.255. Note, this private addressing is not used, not supposed to be used throughout, uh, throughout um, data on the internet. So they are, they are used in a private uh, organization for, for transferring your data, but it must not be used on the internet, that's why you limit private IP address. So for a class A private for a class A uh, uh, for a class A IP address, it has uh, address uh, private IP address of 10.0.0.0 to 
to 10.255.255.255. Now, for a class B uh, IP address, it has a private IP address of 172.16.0 to 172.31. Note the two are the, the two are the network path. Two are the network path, right? Only this one is the network path. So that is from zero to nine. Uh, is it is 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 a private public, but from ten from zero point zero point zero to ten point five to five to five is for private IP address. Now likewise for class B for class B IP addressing and for class C one nine two dot one six eight point zero point zero to one nine two dot one six eight point two five five point two five five. So all these three any address that falls between this one is a private IP address. All right. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to get uh, updates on my up upcoming videos. So I like and share as well. So on my next tutorial, we are going to be treating IP ne uh, IP network subnetting, in which I'm going to give full give you a full detail, full explained detail on how to subnet a class A, a class B, and a class C network address. Thank you.